What's up everyone, it's the Nomad Brad, and in this video I'm gonna share a really cool tool for tracking your paid traffic campaigns. So, by the way, uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm again the Nomad Brad, and I teach a lot of stuff about traffic and affiliate marketing, so if you're interested in that, then hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon, so you know whenever I put out a new video. So. I want to share this with you. This is a tracking sheet template. So this doesn't track your clicks. This tracks your revenue, your spend, and your uh, your profit. <clears throat> I first uh, built this spreadsheet years ago when I was first learning how to run traffic for a company that I worked for, and it was really hard to keep track of the uh, spend and profit every day. So I built this spreadsheet where I would just copy and paste the um, you know the sales that we made in in each place you know like ClickBank or whatever that product was run on ClickBank. So I'd copy and paste the profit that we made on ClickBank, and then I would go copy and paste the ad spend that we did for each ad source. So I built this spreadsheet, and suddenly the whole job of tracking how I was doing with each campaign became very simple. So this is missing for a lot of people, and I want to show it to you, show you how it works, and then actually just give it to you for free because I want to help people you know, be more successful with their paid traffic campaigns. So let me show you how it works. So I've set it up here theoretically if you were running several different offers, and you can see there's a difference between the pink and the yellow. So this column is the spend so this is where every day at the end of the day you would track your how much however much you spent on ads for the day so let's say you since spent fifteen dollars this day um, the next day you spent 35 and then the next day you spent you know 17 so you can already see that some numbers are starting to shift and it's got some really cool features that I didn't add initially um, but actually I met up with a good friend of mine who's an accountant and a finance guy and so he deals with spreadsheets all the time and he was like oh let me let me add this feature and I'll show I'll share this with you too this basically and this is so beautiful it makes the job of running traffic so simple and easy is it predicts how well you're going to do for the rest of the month so if you haven't run a lot of traffic before um, it's not really about the day to day, it's about the month to month. Like every month is, that's what you wanna be measuring your performance by, it's not every day. So what you wanna care about is your average for the month. And so this spreadsheet doesn't just give you the daily um, spend and profit and, and um, profit and loss and stuff. It actually projects what's going to happen for the rest of the month which is really, really awesome. I'll show you how it does that. So these pink sheets, you can see, are taking an average of everything before it, basically. So this is saying, um, how do I get that to go away? Okay, so this is saying, on average, so far, based on what you've spent every day, you're spending, on average, $22.33 and then it will guess based on the average of what you've been spending you know how much you will it will guess how much you will have spent at the end of the month so it estimates that you will have spent um, $692 by the end of the month now the clicks don't really have anything to do with any calculations here it's just for extra data when you're running a lot of traffic sometimes you want to keep track of your conversion rate again it doesn't I'm, I'm, I'm not going to focus on those things, but it doesn't affect any calculations. It's just for extra data. You know, you need as much data as possible when you're running traffic. So um, these other columns are just additional. You know, if you want to keep track, especially if you're running traffic to your own offers, then you can put your own um, data here for, uh, for, like you can add some other calculations. Like let's say every time you sell something it's worth you know fifty seven dollars well you could start making a calculation where you put in a three 
And then over here under revenue, you could say, you could change this from a straight manual entry. You could say equals, you know, D, uh, uh, D32 times, what did I say? Each one was worth $50 or whatever. So now you could put in a three and it would automatically go with $150, right? So that's like, if you're running your own traffic, then you can use these other columns to your own products. But if you're not, and I'm assuming you're doing affiliate marketing if you're watching my channel right now, if you're not, then you're probably just gonna use the straight, you know, raw data. So every day you're just gonna go into like your ClickBank account or your, um, you know, Max Bounty or whatever, and you're just gonna paste how much did you make today. So let's say today we spent 15 and we made one sale of a product that was like, you know, 20, $23 commission. So now the spreadsheet shows you that you profited by $8 today. And then the next day you spent 35 and let's say you made, um, you know, a couple sales and it was 48. So now you've profited $8 and then 13 the next day. Now this day you spent 17 and well, let's just leave it at that. You you made zero. So now you can see that there's a few different awesome things. I can't believe I've never shared this before. This is so cool. Uh, this thing, it really makes running traffic really easy. Um, so there's a few things happening right now. So we, we've put in, you know, it's it's got the date. This is how much we've spent every day. Um, and it's telling you how much you've made every day. If you highlight over these and look down here and look at the average, it says the average of these three days is $1.33. Well, if you look above, the spreadsheet has already guessed or has already figured out um, that you've been averaging about $1.33 profit per day. And then it projects if you average the same thing for the rest of the month, $1.33, if you maintain that average, it's gonna, you're going to, at the end of the month, have made $41 profit. And it's also calculating the same thing for revenue, and it's also calculating the same thing for spend. So it's gonna be guessing what your average profit is going to be. Now let's say you didn't, uh, well, okay, now now let's let's move on to, okay, so now it's not the third, now it's the fourth, right? So what we're gonna do is you're just going to highlight this row that's yellow and drag it up one. And now it's gonna apply all the same rules of down here to up here. So the pink column or the pink rows have one set of rules that are all finding averages. And then the yellow rows have their own set of rules. So as you go through the month, you're going to highlight the row and drag it up and it's going to change but you always want to keep the yellow ones and the pink ones separate until you get to the end of the month and then you can you know duplicate this over into another month month to month tracking is the way to go so let's say you're just spending seventeen dollars every day that's fine and then you're gonna make $22 and $50, $44 and $77, $23, $56, $24, $44, $23. All right, so um, actually let's throw a couple, you know, lighter ones, some negative ones in there. This should turn red, but you can fix that if you want. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's say you made zero again this day. Okay, so now, again, if you highlight all of these, you know, these are the this is the daily profit that you've made every day. So, by the way, if you want to change that, um, you just go to uh, conditional formatting, and you could say uh, if it's let's see, sell no. If it's less than zero, then we're gonna just make it red. There we go. So that's that's all you're gonna do if you wanna change this and make it look better. But I don't know if it's gonna be like that. I don't think it's gonna be like that when you download it, sorry. Um, this will just add a, it makes it very easy to just look and see how you're doing. And 
now based on these numbers you can see you know this this day you spent seventeen dollars and you only made eleven so you lost six this one you spent seventeen you you made twenty four so you made seven etc 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 so again if we highlight all of these and find the average eight dollars and thirty six cents well the spreadsheet has already calculated that you've you're averaging eight dollars and thirty six cents per day and it's and it's um, projecting that if you continue on that path then you're gonna make $259 profit and you will have spent 572. Again, it will do the same thing for clicks and stuff. It's just, it's not gonna affect, you know, any of the number calculations. It's just gonna be for your own data, but you can, but it will still, the pink ones will still guess how many clicks you're gonna get. And, uh, you know, you could do these, uh, I don't, yeah. You'll have to figure this other stuff out, but honestly, if you're just running affiliate campaigns, you don't really need this stuff. Um, you just need the spend and the revenue. This is cost of goods sold. You're not going to need this, obviously, because if you're promoting affiliate products, then it's you know zero cost of goods sold. Um, but if you are selling your own product, you can use this too, and then you just calculate your cost for each product. There's upsell calculations if you want to use those, conversion rates if you want to keep track of that. But may, mostly, may, mostly, if you're an affiliate, you're just going to be using those two columns, revenue and spend. And then um, the other thing it's going to do is this is like a rolling total. So this is how much you've profited so much or so far this month. So, uh, you know, on day one, you made $8, so you're $8 positive, right? On day two, you made $13, so now you're $21 positive. On day three, you lost 17, so now you're only $4 positive for the month. On day four, you made five, so now you're $9 positive. So it's gonna keep this rolling total as you move through the month again. So again, all you have to do is make sure to drag the yellow up into the red to apply all the same rules and then just go in and change each date, right? So this date you spent $33, this one you spent 23, this one you spent 44, 32, etc. So and again, it's going to keep calculating, it's going to guess that you're going to spend 600, you're going to make 794, so you're going to profit by 133. So this is kind of like a secret weapon for if you were to hire a consultant to or an ad agency or whatever to run your paid traffic for you this is probably similar to something that they would use and uh, if you're doing paid traffic you need to track everything you need to track all of your numbers every single day and, the, and remember that it's not about the day. Like if you make $20 today, you might lose 30 tomorrow and you might make 120 to, the next day. It's not about the day to day, it's about the month to month. So you know what you wanna do for, for each offer um, or each traffic source, you can use this however you want. But what I would do is do one sheet per month so this is you know I mean obviously this says August or whatever but you can update the dates and then what I would do is I would save this you know I would duplicate this and I would name it um, rename you know Clickbank offer one whatever it is you know right and then just say August um, well let's say what it's March 2019 so you could do that and then you can start, you know, just doing that for all the months. So, I hope that's really useful to you. If you're serious about running traffic, you need to track every single day what's going on. And this thing is going to make it so much easier. I remember when I was starting to learn traffic and I was spending, you know, a few hundred dollars a day of the, the company that I was working for. And it was just getting crazy. I couldn't keep track of it. And it was really hard for me to do the math every day. And then I built this system that kind of does it for me. And then my friend made it even better by making it project 
<laughs> and so I'll, I will say as well that the more data it gets, the more accurate the end of the month projection is, right? So like on day two, oh, here's the last part. I, I forgot about this. To get projections, you know, there you just have to drag the pink rules back. So now it just overwrote all that data and now it's just gonna be, the pink is always just gonna guess based on averages. I hope that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, just uh, ask me a question underneath this video and I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll try to answer your questions. But if you wanna download this, um, well, first off, first off, thanks for watching. Secondly, if you wanna learn how to run traffic uh, using my favorite platform for anybody to start out with, then I recommend you watch the video at the end that's recommended, or you can uh, get a link below this video as well. And it's gonna show you the, the ways to start out with Bing Ads, which is my favorite platform for people to start out with, especially for affiliate marketing, and it, how to start out with you know, uh, the best chance of profit on day one. So look for that video at the end of this one or in the card above here or below this video. And I highly recommend you go watch that video next. And if you wanna download this uh, spreadsheet, then check the links below this video as well and you can get it for free. So thank you so much for watching. Um, the Nomad Brad and good luck running all of your ads and making a lot more money and feeling a lot less overwhelmed by the whole thing.